We're with the first ever Hyundai Kona EV 2019 model year, 415 kilometers of range, 64 kilowatt per hour battery, 201 horse, 290 pound feet of torque. Let's go through quirks, perks, and irks. So right off the top, I love that Hyundai's done this with their kind of like Acura Jewel Eye headlights. Uh, LED is very nice. Uh, Non-LED turn signal, no big deal. And you have and they're light there and that's your directional signal we'll get into that a little later on so not directional signal directional light so basically the short version is turn the wheel to the left that light goes on turn the wheel to the right that light goes on very very cool here's your port for charging i like that it's up front nice and simple undo that and that's how you get your power in basically looks exactly like a regular gasoline kona but well <laughs> a little bit of changes around there for the ev so let's keep going around 17 inch wheels i really like the rim design because it yes it's aerodynamic yes it's functional but it still looks pretty cool and i've got very few problems with that uh looks really sharp nice led turn indicators on the side mirrors as well let's go around the rear again same thing as the regular kona which is gasoline uh sorry i shouldn't say regular because evs are slowly becoming the norm now anyways that's a look at your rear so you have as you can tell by the flutterings your led tail lights uh, non-LED turn signals, reverse lights in between, auxiliary brake up top. Kind of a quirky thing uh, to save space is there's no spare tire. We've got a tire fill kit, which is right there. Uh, I guess it's about saving weight as well. That's your uh, charger as well. That lights up when you charge it in. 60-40 split. Uh, as far as space goes, my trusty notes tell me you're looking at 544 liters. You put the seats down, you get 1,296. Let's close that up. Uh, again, I, I like the look of the vehicle overall. One irk I have, I, I really don't like that plastic cladding around all the wheels. Um, aside from that, I think the vehicle looks really, really sharp. It just, it's your typical small uh, compact SUV shape and it's got lots of space for people and your stuff and your things. Taking a look in the rear seats, rear seats, rear seats, pretty standard fare here. That comes down, get a couple of cup holders. Let's take a look up in the front section from the rear. So that's what we're looking at. We'll be right back and take a closer look at the inside. Look for our quirks, perks, and irks with the first ever 2019 Hyundai Kona EV. Look at the directional lights on the Kona EV. Very cool. So as you can see, I've turned the wheel a little bit to the left and your halogen directional light comes on to help you go around corners a little safer with a little more light because the wheel is turned to the left. That light is not on. So just really cool that uh, Hyundai's done that. Uh, a definite luxury feature on a non-luxury right, car. Let's do our interiors. Quirks, perks, irks. 2019 Hyundai Kona EV. Keyless entry. Push the button. Off you go. I'm going to start with one of my favorite aspects of the vehicle. Heads up display and how easy it is to turn off. So right now, nothing. Got to push this button right here. Let's take a look. Let's take a listen. absolutely perfect so easy to see and most importantly so easy to actually put on or off you can see right there it's a green number however <laughs> because hyundai is great heads up display you got all your different height rotations brightness you can get the speed color how awesome is that white orange or green so right now it's green um i don't really use the heads up display but anyways uh you have the options for that so i'm going to put that off very nice so this is the top trim and it is the ultimate eight inch screen preferred a few thousand dollars less seven inch screen i think that hyundai just should have stuck with one size give them both eight inch screens you save costs on that so definitely an irk for me um yeah just it never does it for me uh quirk uh is the gear shift because there's no lever there's no dial it's just four buttons uh, slight irk i don't like reverse being over there because it's too close to cup holders and people may hit it by accident i'd rather it be here where i know that i wouldn't really put my hand there uh definite perk is wireless charging really awesome usb auxiliary right there uh kind of a quirk and kind of a perk is if you duck down here a you get a ton of space and your passenger who wants to use the usb port it's just it's right there because I, I don't think there'd be a point in putting it on the other side because the driver already has access to that right there. Heated seats, cool seats, standard on this top trim ultimate. I love it. Drive modes are there, heated steering wheel, auto hold. Everything is so well laid out and that's your typical Hyundai for you. 
So drive modes, let's take a look. So you have your sport, eco, and normal. Uh, kind of a cool thing is if you go into eco and you hold it down, you get eco plus, and that limits your speed at 90 kilometers per hour, and it just allows you to really get the most out of the vehicle as well. Uh, switching gears, pardon the pun, not really. What I found weird is, is that I'm, my heat's on. You max out at 27 degrees in, as opposed to 30, 31, 32 in most other cars. You can select driver only if you're looking to really save power. Uh, you're in the car by yourself. You don't need to have both sides of the front of the cabin heated. Very cool there. Well done, Hyundai. Uh, another perk is that there's LED lights on the interior. There's two there. There's your one there. You get your, uh, your sunroof. Uh, I could have gone without it. Kind of half irk, half perk for me. It, perk, I love sunroofs. Um, irk, it just adds weight. And if you're in an EV, it's all about the uh, lowering of the weight amounts. Um, what else can we go through? The steering wheel is so simply laid out. Again, it just, it, I love the way Hyundai, Hyundai's done this stuff. I've, I've said it before, I keep saying it. You got your light positions, so you always know where your lights are. Same thing with your wiper positions, off, auto, low, or high. So Hyundai has done a terrific job there as far as making it simple. Again, more simple buttons right there. <sighs> Hyundai knows what they're doing as far as making things easy for the consumer. You get your electronic parking brake tucked right over there as well. Love the vent system, just it's so simple. Uh, definite quirk is that, you can see right there, there's a little bit, um, so there's your on, you open your and your close and you're left to right. So if you go all the way to the left, it's closed and you go all the way to the right, that's how you know for sure it's open. Uh, it's a little warm in here, so I'm gonna shut that off. Let's go infotainment system. So let's go to the home screen, which is top left. So uh, let's go EV. So right there, right now I've got 18% battery and I've got about 60-ish kilometers of range. So let's just take a double look at the car. Come on, we got this. We got 55 kilometers, oh, I had it. Anyway, it's 55 kilometers worth of range. Just messing around with that. Sorry, let's get out of that. Learning for everybody, right? <laughs> I had this fine. So uh, 55 kilometers worth of range. You hit that in the top left. And basically that little blue line is exactly how far you can go with what's left on the battery. So you get 415 kilometers of range when you got a full charge, that becomes a much wider area of travel, but still very cool that Hyundai offers that. And it uh, lets you know where your charging points are and other standard EV stuff. Um, so really, really cool stuff there. Um, and I'm not gonna go over this stuff too much. Um, there's your range, that's your battery percentage as well as far as what's remaining. Uh, CarPlay and Android Auto are standard, so well done Hyundai. Uh, kind of a quirk, I don't know, let's go with definite quirk. So when you change the drive modes, you get different colors of rings around the speedometer. So I've pretty much sat in normal or eco uh, for most of my time. Done a little bit of eco plus. Um, the car does very, very well. Uh, we'll do the driving portion very, very soon and that way we'll get through the one pedal driving. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the quirks, perks, irks for the inside. We'll be right back with the driving portion. Let's end with a logo because it looks really, really sharp. 2019 Kona EV driving portion. This is really gonna focus on one pedal driving and your regen paddles. Right now I'm at level zero. So if I let go of the gas, which I'm going to right now, the car is still moving. It, obviously it's slowing down a little bit. So I'm gonna get over the hill and then hit up some level ground. So right now, 50 kilometers so level zero my foot's off the gas and you can see it bend over there level one slows you down a bit level two a bit more with your left paddle level three a little more pretty much almost all the way but the car does not come to a full stop when you're on level three without a little bit of input so you're gonna hold down the paddle a little more and that's how you get to your full stop so that's your one pedal driving foot in the brake for me i'm gonna go back to level zero and I'm gonna brake only using my left hand instead of the brake pedal at all. So up to speed, foot off, I'm gonna hold down the left paddle and full stop. So if you wanna drive in level zero or one or two or three, depending on where you are, what your conditions are, what kind of traffic's around you, um, there is a setting just for you or if you don't want to do that for whatever reason you can still use the brake pedal as a brake pedal itself 
Now, an interesting point of note, when the car is in eco mode and you start braking, it shows you just how many kilometers you're regenerating. So on average, I've gotten about 0.25 of a kilometer, maybe 0.3, but yes, it's still important because you're still putting a little bit of juice back in the battery. Um, but you know, you'd have to be going down a hill and braking to get a lot of mileage back. But then why would you? Because if you're coasting, the battery will just regenerate through the wheels. So the power will be uh, pushed back in through the regeneration system. Anyways, uh, as far as drive quality goes, it's good, it's smooth, it's quiet. I'm gonna try and get you the reverse sound and uh, because you know, we have to do it. So let's take a listen. Yeah, it's outside of the car. I'm not really sure how well you can hear it. Let's put the window down. Off. Anyway, there's a chime there. It can, uh, it can be heard. I can hear it anyway. And I'm really hoping the people around me can hear it as well. So it's it's a great vehicle. 415 kilometers of range is phenomenal. And it's more than the Bolt. It's more than the Leaf. It's even more than the I-Pace. Yes, the I-Pace is a completely different vehicle as far as class goes. But at the same time, um, having 415 kilometers of range out of a Hyundai Kona is remarkable. Prices are about, um, actually stopped, so let me take a look at my notes quickly. Uh, 45,999 versus 51,999. First one's your preferred, you miss a few bells and whistles and the other one is your uh, top trim ultimate. Safety features all over the place. You get your blind spot, uh, your warning, uh, rear cross traffic alert, automatic high beams. You get that little coffee cup if the car thinks you're uh, doing a little uh, too much weebling and wobbling. I'm just gonna come to a full stop and put the car in park in this quirky gear shift. Um, just quickly wrapping it up, uh, lane keep assist, forward collision warning, uh, high beam assist, bliss, um, all sorts of stuff. And it's great and it's a, it's it, to me it's, it's, I would pick the Kona EV for my electric vehicle over anything else out there. For the price, yes I know it doesn't really meet Justin's uh, weird rebate of $5,000 but Come on. Anyways, not political. Gonna <laughs> stay away from that. But Hyundai Kona EV is a fantastically wonderful vehicle. Drives very well. Tons of range. Very functional. Very smart. Tons of safety. Tons of space. And the cool. There's awesome features. They put cooled seats in because Hyundai really wants you to have this car replace a gasoline car, but not miss out on all the cool, fun features that you would get in a regular gasoline car. So uh, questions, comments, please let me know. I would love it if you could subscribe, uh, hit the bell as the kids say to know when the next video is coming up. I speak a lot with my hands. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Any questions, let me know. And we will be back sooner than later with our next review.